I win four more cases because you saw me coming like an oncoming train. Well, you right? know, no, no, hold on. Jalen Brown didn't play Robert Williams. Come on, man. Give him two of my five starters in play. Them's the breaks. <laughs> okay. Okay, I remember that. I want you to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You we will get to that matchup in yeah. just a little bit, guys. But first, let's start with the Lakers. Shannon, last night they blew a 10-point lead with two minutes to go in the fourth. They'd end up winning the game, though, in overtime. 135-133, taking down the Jazz. LeBron finished with a game-high 37, including game winner in OT. While LeBron talked to reporters after the game, his teammates let everybody know exactly what they think of him. Take a listen. You can make shots offensively. You got to be able to get stops down the stretch, you know, especially when you're uh, playing against teams that's been scoring. So uh, we had to get stops, and we did that. I gotta say, focus. I'm locked in, y'all. <laughs> I mean, it's important for our backcourt to be, um, you know, complimented to one another, especially when you got D'Lo out. With 143 left in this game, Austin Reeves makes yet another cold-blooded three. Mm-hmm. And he actually turns to the Utah crowd. He wheels to the crowd. He made it from the baseline, if we could see it. And, and does the arm like, <laughs> like I got ice water in yeah. my veins. I got ice water in my veins. Watch this. He rips it and turns and yeah. you see, yep, he's doing it. Okay. That, that's for a second year play. He's second year, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, second yeah. year player. That, that's second, some second year undrafted, undrafted player. Undrafted. That, that's some guts. That's yeah. some moxie. That's yeah. some serious swag yeah. for a kid who has arrived. Yeah. And you could even see last night. LeBron just trusts him implicitly. Oh, yeah. LeBron's kicking it to him. They're going back and forth because they can vibe off each other because he knows how to play basketball. I'm going to say it again. I am loving your team. (laughs) I did not love their effort last night, especially on defense, but I'm giving them a little bit of a break because they're trying to save themselves against a a weakened opponent for a a pretty strong opponent that has beaten them 10 straight times. Right. And it's it's all at the crypt, which is their, you know, it's, it's like the Clippers home away from home almost because they're the team in the basement. OK, so Austin Reeves makes that three. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you're up 10 with a minute 43 left. Can't you close that? You should. No, they weren't able to close it because uh, uh, Baji makes a three. Then LeBron had that offensive okay. foul that we saw. Chris Dunn's layup. And then Chris Dunn made a layup, and then AD missed a little 17-foot turnaround that was forced. And then Kelly Olenek. <laughs> really skilled. He just lucky banks in a three from straight on, and it's just pure luck. He shoots it way too hard. He shot it, what, like two feet too hard? Yes. And it banks hard in, okay? It's just a bad break. Right. But it was a break nonetheless, and that cut it to two. Then AD misses another little six-footer, and in the end, if we could see the final play of the game, at least LeBron did not pull up and jack up a three, right. which has been my pet peeve for his whole career. At least he sucked it up and said, I'm going to drive the basketball. He's waiting. I thought he should have attacked a little quicker. Just attack. It's Kelly Olenek, and he has to get it back for shooter. Nice cut, nice break. And then he goes up and under. He's left-handed by birth. And he said it after the game, it's my shot. I am left-handed, yes. right? Yeah. And he just left it a little short off the front of the Still rim. Still remember the Eastern Conference Finals against uh, Indiana. He that was did. a shot at the buzzer. Yeah, okay. With Paul but, George overplayed. He, but, but he, he made, made it. it. Yes. Okay, that was just completely, <laughs> un- at least this is contested. But, of course, I'm sitting back saying, okay, where's the clutch gene? Right. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? He redeemed himself. Oh, yeah. In overtime, he basically took the game over. Yes. And to his credit, not only did he make that mad ball three, but after AD's misses, he stepped to the line. What was it with 54 seconds left? LeBron stepped to the line and and ripped them both. Yeah, he yeah. ripped them both. I'm going to give him that. And he was six for six from the free throw line for the game. I'm going to give you that because huh? he has been a liability from the late game, close game. Not, free throw not line. this year. Not this year. That was big time. 54.5. It wasn't exactly game winning, but it was game saving free throws yes. that he made. OK, way to go, LeBron James. Which brings us to the final play of the game. Once again, 
you got to give me a little credit for this. I've just pounded on this table. LeBron, you are the greatest driver of the basketball I've ever seen, and it ain't even close. He is still a 200 and whatever he was, 60-pound <laughs> freight train. There's never been a force of nature like LeBron with the basketball driving to the basket because he's so powerful, he's, so, he's still so explosive, he is ambidextrous, He's impossible right. to stop. He plays bully ball even now better than anybody plays it. So if the game is on the line, you ha just have to have the guts. You're shooting free throws at the highest. It's not the highest statistical clip, but lately he's been making his free throws. But I think he's so, ever said this. Okay, yes, so, so, okay, my point is trust. Just yes. trust it because don't pull up and jack up a three. Guess what he is from three? I got it right here. He is now 30.3% for the whole year. That ranks 149 out of 151. Guess who's 150? Russell Westbrook. We're going to talk about him. Van Carroll got to be 51. Van Carroll is 151. Okay, so don't do that. It's, it's never been your shot, and this year you're not shooting it anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's, okay, it's so bad it's, this it's year period, me. end of story. Yep. Do what you do. do Attack the way only you can attack. Take it to them and make the refs make a call if that's what it's going to require. Because all you got to do is go make one free throw and the game is over if that's what's required. Well, this time he pulls off one heck of a move because he does a, a, a spin, spin to the layup if we could see the final shot. This is what you have to do if you're LeBron freaking James. Give me the ball. Watch this. I get it. I, I, he didn't even have a step. He had to create a step because he got guarded to the left, and he wheels and spins and 360s and just lays it up off the glass. He didn't even need to dunk it. He laid it in off the glass. Game, winner, game, over. Beautiful redemption. So, to me, it was bad news, really good news, Really good for the basketball team. Recreated all the momentum. Saved the game. Saved the winning streak. Might have saved the season. Might have saved the season. Seriously, might have saved the season with that decision and that move. And that it's just a layup, but it was a pretty fancy schmancy layup, it right? Was. Yes. You, you got to create your own shot going through two Utah Jazz, and he did. And I am impressed. But overall, I'm right with you on the scale of 1 to 10. I, I can go above 500, but, but again, given what happened or didn't happen in the fourth quarter, I can go to a 6. Right. Because that's what it was. It was a 6, but it was a strong 6 because the fourth – I mean, the uh, overtime it was, was a flat-out 10 it, or, as you usually do, <laughs> it's a 12. Yeah, yes. No, it was. It was. Yeah. And, Skip, considering that he hadn't played more than 32 minutes in any yep. of the four previous four games, yep. this was his fifth game back. And because of the five extra minutes, he had to he had put on his body. Would I be surprised? Would I be shocked? I wouldn't be shocked if, if, if LeBron nor AD played tonight and they rolled the dice and said, let's put everything into the Suns game on Friday night. And take that and take Wednesday. So now we'll have Wednesday off, Thursday off. Would. Okay. I, I would got you be you. surprised? No, I would If one of both. And if fact, one of both. In fact, that is Almost certainly the smart way to go. Almost certainly. But you have built serious momentum. Late season momentum. Serious. Like best in the West right. late season. Although KD is now 7-0 and in his games right. that he's played right. with the Suns. You have, you have a shocking opportunity to do something very special. Do I give you a shot at winning the West? Absolutely yeah. I give you a shot. Did you happen to notice what happened to Denver last night? And I'm not talking about the Broncos. I'm talking about the Nuggets. Yeah. Okay. They stunk. They lost at Houston. You had an ignominious loss at Houston not too long yeah. ago. So the point is they stunk so bad that once again, Mike Malone called out his team as soft. Well, they are soft. Jokic played last night, and he plays soft on the defensive end. Right. They were all soft on the defensive end. Right. Do they have offensive firepower? Well, you better believe yes. they do, maybe as much as anybody. But when they don't defend and they're not completely into it, that happens. And it's happened way too often down the stretch. Is Denver vulnerable? You better yeah. believe Denver is vulnerable. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Can you beat the still young Grizzlies in, in a seven game? Sure, you can beat them. Can you beat the still very young Sacramento? You better believe you can beat Sacramento, even though they had a very nice win last night at what do you call them? The Seagulls. The Seagulls. Oh, my bad, Jed. Uh, my bad, Jed. I'm sorry. Okay. Y'all really? They, they they played like Seagulls last <laughs> night because they got spanked at home yeah. by Sacramento. Okay. But the point is, everywhere you look in the West, Oh, because we're, we're going to talk about Golden State a little later. Golden State's down four to Oklahoma City going into the fourth quarter, and Jordan Poole goes out of his mind, or we might be having a different yes. conversation. Right. Okay? So you've got opportunities everywhere to rise up the rankings. And yet, tonight is huge psychologically. So do I want them to play? If, if I'm Rob Palenka, would I almost go against my better judgment and encourage both of them to play? Yeah, I would. Right. Because if you can win this game and then keep everybody barely healthy and take the 48 hours to get ready for Phoenix, you want to talk about golden? You could wind up the fifth seed. You got a shot. Yeah.